man, that opportunity, man. Another Sunday, get to play the game we love. Homecoming game for all the old Titans. So, you know, we got to get a W today. This will be a big challenge today that the Titans need to end. Winston fires over the middle, intercepted, Butler. Throws left side, going for Sharp. Tajay caught it. Touchdown, Titans! No, sir, three! Darrell Casey sells out to make the play. Tannehill looking, firing, A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Titans! What an amazing team win. Once again, offense, defense, special teams, complete game, got a W, win. Good Tuesday night. Glad to have you with us for the Mike Vrabel Show with the head coach. I'm Mike Keith. And did Jayon Brown just steal our open there with how he summarized the victory as a great team win? You know, Jayon, he's in a lot of, he's in all the team meetings, so he's paying attention to the complimentary football that we need to play. We try to try to win the game in all three phases and have everybody do something that's going to help us uh, get a win. All right, let's take a look at Mike <clears throat> Vrabel's six-pack. And Titans are already on the board with a takeaway and a touchdown pass when it's time to intercept Jameis Winston. He drops to throw, but he finds Malcolm Butler. Yeah, we got him in back on track there, second and 13 there. We run a little simulated pressure, um, kind of change it up on him a little bit. And I'm not sure if there was a mistake, but he kind of airmailed him. Uh, I didn't know if the receiver was supposed to keep running the seam, but you know Malcolm was able to catch it and get that ball tucked away and uh, go try to score. But um, our offense was able to punch it in after that. It's always great when you catch the ones they throw you. Um, it's hard enough in this league. Um, so hopefully when they, when they throw it to you, you got to catch it. 13th career interception for Malcolm Butler. <clears throat> Two plays later, coach, well, he already let you know, the Titans are able to cash it in with a touchdown pass. Yep, and uh, just a little fade route there, something that we've been working on. Um, you know, Ryan gets up and down on it, gives Tajay a, a good place to go catch the ball. He kind of holds him off a little bit. Um, and then he will show his hands late there for, for a great catch, Keep, you know, great body control. You know, and then he, the catch survives the ground. Um, and it was ended up being a huge play for us. Titans go up 14 to three, but as you get to the fourth quarter, you see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have actually gone in front 23 to 20. The Titans have to drive 90 yards for the go ahead score and you go to the rookie. Yep, and uh, we, we got uh, Ryan, Ryan got us in the right play there, blitz zero check. Um, Ferk does a good job, Johnu does a good job staying in there, protect. Um, and then AJ runs a great route at the front line, gets the DB to back up into the end zone a little bit, and uh, Ryan gives him a heck of a ball, and then you can see a really nice catch there. He had not done much on the day to that point, and it's really impressive that the young receiver says, I'm staying with it all day long, even though I'm not having a great day, knowing I need to make a play late in the game. Yeah, it was uh, just a, a little bit of inconsistencies throughout the day, just trying to string plays together. and. You know, the, the, the passing, and then, then we got it going. And, you know, they, they have to understand that each and every time that they go out there, they have the ability to change the game, you know, with a catch and run, with a, with a touchdown catch, and being ready to go throughout the game. And, you know, A.J. did that. All right, let's take a look now at the three defensive plays that sealed the deal for the Titans. The first one, Harold Landry. Well, he gets a, has a good get off. Um, as, he, as he corners there at the top, he's able to reach. He's trying to reach with that far arm, and you can see it. You know, sometimes you can't even sack the guy. You can't even tackle him, but you're going to get the sack and disrupt the, the ball just by reaching there um, as the offensive lineman's trying to push him by. Uh, and the huge thing is there is we're able to recover it. Yeah, Harold battles to recover it himself. <clears throat> then two minutes to go in the game, fourth and a long one at the Titan 32. Peyton Barber, no. Well, just a lot of great penetration there by Jarrell. He knocks his guy back. His hands are inside. Guy's trying to grab him, tackle him. He comes off. You could see Kenny trigger. You know, we had everybody covered up front. Uh, they weren't able to get a hat on Kenny. Um, and so Kenny comes in there and helps clean him up right there. And huge stop, huge moment. Our guys are very prepared for that situation. Um, tight coverage on the outside. I think, you know, whether he could have, you know, run an RPO or try to get some pick route outside with the three receivers. 
Uh, they chose to run it, and, and our guys chose to stop them. All right, let's take a look at the final seal the deal play for the defense. Logan Ryan lost an interception earlier in the game to review. Not this time. Yeah, just trying to stay back, make sure the ball's thrown inbounds, um, keep the clock running. And uh, he air meld one, and, and Logan was able to make a great catch and, uh, and seal the deal. You know, being great in the critical situations is, is something we're going to have to continue to do. Uh, these games are tight each and every week. Four takeaways overall in the ball game. Titans beat Tampa Bay 27 to 23. When we come back, the Bridgestone clutch performance of the game from the win over the Bucks. That's next on the Mike Vrabel Show. Bridgestone clutch performance of the game. Titans facing the number one run defense in the NFL, backed up to their own one in the first quarter, and here you come with the big back. Yeah, it's a tough place to be against any team, especially this one with the guys that they have inside, Vita and Sue. Um, you know, Derek, Derek read it well. We, we got good crease there, and uh, he's able to get the stiff arm, break through the, uh, the shoestring tackle, and then he's off to the races, and, and I appreciate him taking care of the football right there. But that was huge to get us off the goal line, and. You know, we just need to continue to try to get these explosive runs uh, that can continue to help us. Did you think he was Oh, uh, there were some rumblings on the headset. I know what you're going to ask me. Was he going to go, gonna go 99. from the other way? Um, there were some rumblings in the headset when, it, when he broke through the line of scrimmage. But, uh, you know, we're, we're just thankful that, uh, you know, we, we could stay committed. We, we want it to always be better. But I felt like we were at least we stayed committed to, to the run game that that was allow us to stay balanced. 16 carries, 75 yards, the best anybody has done this year against Tampa Bay. That's Derrick Henry's line for the ball game. Absolutely, and uh, just continue to take care of the football. You know, I know that uh, there's no harder critic um, on himself than, than Derrick, and so. You know, we'll continue to work with them, uh, you know, about making sure that we take care of the football. Derrick Henry on the season, 581 yards rushing, been consistent all year. You get a feeling he's got a really big one in him somewhere. Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, again, he had that. He would have had that the other day, you know, 42 yards that, you know, got called back because of a holding at the line of scrimmage. And, you know, we have to keep giving them those chances to get to the second level and do something. Are you ready for Delta Dental Guess the Titan? Never ready. What's my record? You're three out of six on the year. Okay. Three out of six on the year. Delta Dentals guess the Titan. A picture of a young Titans player. I think this may be the easiest one so far. Now you can't say it yet. So we'll you get see. the answers on your script. Yeah, oh, I do. Right, no, I have no, no. to know. It's important to know. Indeed. We got more with Coach Mike Vrabel coming up, including our Geico Gladiator Logan Ryan. Stay with us. Maybe a defensive guy. You've got to be four out of seven after this Delta Dental guess the type. You've got to know we this. We are one. ready to go above okay. 500 here. All right. The head coach says. Long Beach Poly's own Jayon Brown. It looks just like him now. Good to have him back in the lineup. You know what? There were some <clears throat> really nice plays out there on the edge, the perimeter to try to get the back there. I, I thought that the play on the goal line, you know, not backing up into the, the goal line. There it is, cutting the guy right there, you know, going with the correct arm. You know, those are great to see. You know, so many times guys, you know, when, when A.J. caught his touchdown pass, you know, the, the defender was three yards into the end zone. You know, we got to catch him at the front of the end zone and make sure now that we're tackling using the sidelines. And uh, that, that was great to see on those quick outlet passes. Jayon running out there and doing a great job of covering. Do you have a more aware mm -hmm. football player than Jayon Brown? Um, you know, there may be guys. I think Kevin Byer is a very aware player. I sure. think Logan Ryan's a very aware player. I think Jarrell Casey is probably one of the more aware defensive linemen uh, that I've been around as far as formations, backfield sets, things that he's looking for uh, that can help him. And we're, we're continuing to, to, to ask Jayon to be a leader for us on that defense and to communicate with guys and help them um, do their job better. He had played only three snaps in the previous two games. It was great to have Jayon Brown back in there. Speaking of playing snaps, what about the secondary? All of them went the entire way in the win over Tampa Bay on Sunday. Our Amy Wells is standing by with one of those gentlemen who played 83 snaps. 
as it's time for our Geico Gladiator of the Game this week, number 26, Logan Rye. Logan, you played all 83 defensive snaps against the Buccaneers. So this is going to sound like kind of a uninformed question, but are you tired? <laughs> are you sore? Uh, yeah, I'm sore. It was, a, it was a tiring, emotional game, back-to-back, -back, really emotional weeks. We needed these wins. We got back to 500, and uh, you always feel a little better after, you know, after a victory. When you were going through your career, at what point did you really learn how to recover well? I think that's something that's always learning. Um, I think this year i have more scheduled where before I would go on what I feel, if I need a massage on this day or something, it's, it's how my body's feeling. Now it's that stuff is set in stone. I have the same exact Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's Groundhog's Day for me every week, and I think that allows my body to prepare a lot better. And uh, it takes seven years to, to learn that, and I'm always going to add things as I go on. How would you describe your position within this Titans defense? I mean, you're the designated nickel guy, but you're not rotating off the field at all. As we said, you played every defensive snap last week. I don't know. I think nickel's kind of an old word. Um, a lot of teams have multiple receivers, and I'm just able to cover multiple guys. I mean, I've, I think I play the best position for the best defensive coordinator in football in Dean Pease, and he moves me around and allows me to make plays. So I, I like to be a playmaker. I, I'll put it as a playmaker. Is that a lot different than when you first started your career and there were more designated roles? Yeah, football is changing. It's uh, more athletes on the field, smaller, faster guys. You need guys that can cover and you need guys that can tackle. And uh, we're able to be more versatile because we have versatile players in our defense. That gives us an advantage uh, on offenses. So uh, throughout my career, I always had to move around whatever the team needed me to do. And uh, I didn't always like it. I thought it was hard to learn different positions year in and year out, but now I feel like I have a lot of tools in my belt and uh, be able to do a little bit of it all. You have three and a half sacks, which is more than any DB in the league right now. Why are you so good <laughs> at getting to the quarterback? I got a good team around me, good players, uh, a great system with Dean Pease, and uh, they asked me to blitz a lot, and I just try to be productive with my numbers calls. So I really think it's the people around me that allow me to make some of these plays. Getting that interception later in the game, you've had a lot this year already. You've had three. What have you done differently to be so successful getting these interceptions game after game? A lot of film study. Obviously, last year, coming off a broken leg, I worked really hard. I think everyone knows me, knows how hard I work at it, and just really uh, ready for the opportunities. You never know when interceptions are going to come. I mean, Kevin caught one off a guy's back a couple weeks ago. So you never know. You has got to be ready for it. And uh, God has been good to me, and the ball's been coming my way, and I've been able to make plays on the ball eight games under your belt. What has surprised you the most about this Titans defense so far? We got a lot of resiliency. Um, you know, it didn't always go as planned for us uh, this season so far. And we were able to scratch and claw. We got a really good locker room, which I knew about. And uh, the games are always tough, which I knew about. But we're finding ways to win on defense, finding ways to close games out. And uh, we got a long way to go. It's a marathon. We're only halfway through it. So um, not, not too much surprised me. I just knew that we have a tough resilient group, and it's just really showing. Logan Ryan, outstanding start to the year. He has given this defense so many different things. And versatility is really the word that, that seems to fit number 26. Sure. He can play outside. He plays inside as a nickel. Uh, he blitzes for us. Um, you know, the sack, the interception. Uh, he's in there in the run game, you know, digging in there in the run game, which is critical. Uh, plays man, plays zone. And I think that he, he's very adept at all of those. He understands the concepts that we're, that we're asking him to understand in, in each and every coverage and the, and the details, I think, have, have really improved and really have helped his game. Uh, and he's done some good things for us in eight games. Third year with the Tennessee Titans, and Logan Ryan has gotten better each of those three years. Exciting part of this Titans defense right now. When we come back, well, we've got a fireball flashback. We're going to head out to the grill and we're going to tell you about a very special Titans Parents Clinic if your youngster plays football. That and more coming up on The Mike Vrabel Show. Glad to have you back with us on The Mike Vrabel Show and want to tell you about something very special next Monday night, November 4th at Nissan Stadium. It's the Tennessee Titans Parents Football Clinic. Six to nine, dinner is served, it's free. You have to register, however, 
Go to titansonline.com slash parents clinic to get registered. And what is so valuable about this, if you have a youngster that plays youth football, if you have a youngster that plays middle school or high school football, if you have a youngster who is thinking about playing football, what an opportunity to learn about so many different things about how to make them as safe and allow them to enjoy the game as much as possible. That's it. That's what it's about, being a parent that's uh, had, had two kids play, one that still plays. Um, you know, my wife and I, I think, we're, we're on the lucky side to be able to understand the equipment that goes into it and, and what practices should look like. And I think that's critical that you go to those practices and you understand the techniques that's being asked of them and making sure that they're safe and that they're proper techniques. And uh, is their equipment fit right? A lot of these moms, a lot of times the moms are the ones that gets, the, gets these kids dressed for football practice and making sure that the, the pads are right and the helmet fits and there's a mouthpiece and how to mold it and all those things. And uh, it, it's really a great experience and, and I'm, I'm proud that we you know, put it on at, at no cost. Yeah, Josh Corey and the staff do an outstanding job again. Next Monday, Nissan Stadium, Sign up for the Titans Parents Football Clinic at titansonline.com slash parents clinic. And right now it's time to head to the grill. Team Chaplain James Mitchell standing by with a Titan Pro Bowler and he's doing the work getting ready for some good eating. Let's see what Mitch has got going on the grill. Please don't tell me you like your steak. <laughs> like medium well. I'm willing to try anything with you, Brett. I trust you. You're a medium well kind of guy? I trust you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a good experience. All right. We got some flank steak here, which is pretty good on the grill. You get skirt steak, flank steak. Over the years, I've learned how to cook certain meats yeah. based on how bad I've burned them or butchered them. <laughs> <laughs> you get some good marinade like this, and you let it you let it sit in a Ziploc bag overnight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> so good. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this and kind of slap it over a little bit. Oh, you hear that sizzle. Ooh. Medium rare, Mitch. <laughs> I can't wait to try. Medium rare. <laughs> so have you taught the oldest boy how to grill yet? A little bit. Yeah, not too much, but that's, uh, you know, I think he, he just turned 10, and I think it's time to, to start having some good conversations about the grill. Well, if he needs on commission to come over and cut up some bologna. <laughs> I don't know if he likes bologna. Now my daughter? <laughs> She'll eat it. Ooh. <laughs> get, let me get this off the grill. Look at that juice just popping out. <laughs> well, there goes my dinner tonight. All right, see? There's one way to eat it. Then there's a Mississippi Mitch way to eat it. That's good stuff. Sixteen men have started at quarterback for this organization since we became the Tennessee Titans. We'll leave out current Titans quarterbacks Ryan Tannehill and Marcus Mariota to focus on the other 14. Steve McNair made the most starts with 131, followed by Vince Young with 47, Kerry Collins with 32, Jake Locker with 23, and Matt Hasselbeck with 21. From there, it gets interesting. Zach Bettenberger and Billy Volick both started 10 games at quarterback for the Titans. Ryan Fitzpatrick made nine starts. Neil O'Donnell started eight games. The next bunch is led by Charlie Whitehurst with five starts, Blaine Gabbert with three, and Matt Castle with two. The two remaining only started one game apiece. Matt Mock started the 2005 season finale in Jacksonville, and Rusty Smith got the start at Houston in 2010. Time to get back over 500. Titans on their way to Carolina. Mike Vrabel's keys to success. Well, you got to stop Christian McCaffrey. He's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. You know, you got to stop the run. I mean, this guy is almost 1,100 yards by himself. I mean, he's second in the NFL in all-purpose yards. He runs it inside. He runs it outside. 
Uh, they're creating matchups with him and empty and coming out of the backfield. Uh, he's a fantastic young player, uh, and it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Key number two, run the dang ball. I mean, we just have to keep going and keep being more consistent and find ways to get everybody involved. Um, you know, and it doesn't have to be just, just line up and, you know, every single down. But when we do, uh, we, we have to make sure that we're, we're consistent and we're getting rid of the negative runs, getting Derek to the second level. You know, find ways for Dion to continue to help us um, – and, and just be sound. we got to have something to hang our hat on. All right, in 15 seconds, win the turnover battle. Sure. I mean, this is a team that, you know, they've, they've got 10 interceptions, uh, 15 total caused turnovers, and that's something that we've done. We've taken care of the ball, but we're going to especially have to do it this week. Go get them in Charlotte. Thanks, Mike. All right, remember, we're on the air at 11 a.m. Central on Titans Radio. Hope you'll join us. For Mike Vrabel, Mike Keith says thanks for being with us. Good night, everybody.